Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Andy. Welcome to the show. So, as you already know, I unboxed this baby right here. This is the Trasca Commuter 38 millimeters in the color black, the carbon black that they have. Now, this watch has been incredibly comfortable, very nice. I really love that it doesn't scratch at all. And uh, it just has been pretty pleasant to wear this watch. As I said in my unboxing, I wanted to compare this one to the 36 millimeters. So I ordered another one and I ordered, I ordered a 36 millimeters in a black or gray dial. I don't know which is uh, because it kind of changes throughout the light, but uh, it's it's uh, equivalent to the black dial in somber style. And, I, and let's see and unbox this baby. I have it right here and let's see what are the differences and how does it look in my 6.7 inch wrist compared to the 38 millimeter? So let's begin. All right, so today I am using my trusty, uh, beautiful Swiss uh, Victorinox right here. It's already half open, as you can see. There we go. Uh, let's just put this aside. All right, so now you can see there that we have the Tresca logo. And as you can see, it comes very well uh, packaged. All right, so let me remind you guys that I have the 38 millimeter watch. So I'm gonna put it right here uh, for you guys to remember that I have this one on my wrist right now. And let's see, so, all right. Trasca unboxing, as same as the 38 one. And uh, let's see. All right. Trusca commuter, kind of like an extraction block box. And there we go. So now we have here this beautiful uh, pouch that, you know, Trusca already uh, always sent this watches on this beautiful pouches. This is the best part of the, uh, the packaging of the watch. So let's open it up and see it in person and compare it to the 39, 38 millimeters, sorry. So I was expecting, so now, okay, yeah, this is kind of gray. It's grayish, blackish, depending on the light. I really dig this. Okay, so I wasn't expecting, I, th that, I thought that this watch did not, um, I don't know, go with a uh, somber style, but now I do. It looks very nice. I'm kind of seeing it through the, um, uh, the camera here. Uh, but let me take a look in person. So, wow, this, this looks really nice. And I like the, the, uh, uh, the dimensions here, 36 millimeters. Uh, I ordered this one because it was a true black, you know, that's what I was looking for. And this is the 36 millimeter and you can see the difference with the black. This is more like a gray slate. And as you can see, here are the comparisons between the cases. So this is 38 millimeters and this is 36. And you can see there the comparison kind of does represent what it is and feels exactly how they supposed to feel 38 and 36. All right, so let's put on the 36 millimeters on my wrist because I'm really intrigued in how this one looks on the wrist. Now, okay, so again, th this has a lot of, of links here, so you can fit it to any wrist you want. So that's very generous from them. And look at that, that, that is nice. It looks fantastic on my 6.7 inch wrist. Like once again, guys, the, the weight is, is incredible on this watch, especially in the 36 millimeter, it just looks nice. It feels nice on the wrist. Wow, I am, I'm digging this watch and look at the, um, the slimness of these babies. So now I'm going to put on the 38 millimeter for you guys to see the differences on my 6.7 inch wrist. There we go. So it doesn't feel that much of a difference. Um, I really like how the 38 fits in my 6.7 inch wrist. But as you know, I do love 36 millimeters, but because I have the um, Explorer and other watches in 36, I wanted to, you know, see how this watch looks on 38. But yeah, I, I, 
This is super nice. I really like them. Uh, the 36 millimeter is super beautiful. Uh, if you're into uh, Traska watches, you should go either way. Uh, this one has a little bit more interesting colors than this one. This just has uh, the black, the white, the mint green, and I think that's it. And this one has a gray, like a lighter gray. This is a black or slate black. Um, and then you have the blue sunburst, a uh, mint dial is really nice, but it looks super nice. As you can see, the differences between the dials are clear. This is a summer style clarity. This one is not. And I like it. I like it, Alice. So this watch has the measurements of 36.5 millimeters in diameter. The lock to lock is 44. Uh, this has a 20 millimeter lock with, and it tapers down to 16 millimeters. And it only has 8.7 um, thickness here or should I say thinness without or excluding the dome sapphire crystal. I think it's like 10, exactly 10 millimeters in thickness. Uh, beautiful, uh, very well made mirror finish here. As you can see there, you can see the reflection on my camera very well. It doesn't distort just only from here on the sides of the, uh, of the watch, but you can see there, uh, it does reflect very nice and clearly. Um, the that reflection there uh beautiful links it's just like the same as this one they are it has uh, you know the the links here it has fully articulated links incredible super comfortable as this one is the same and it's very comfortable and i can say that this watches disappear on the wrist like seriously uh yesterday i was using this one and i actually didn't uh remember that i was using a watch because it's winter i was using a lot of clothes and I didn't realize that I had that watch on. And when I wanted to check the hour, you know, I, I just uh, naturally I raised my wrist and I saw the watch and I'm like, wow, I didn't feel this watch at all. I haven't felt this watch at all in, all, in this whole time. So it's nice to, to see that this watch is very comfortable and, and, and it actually it's worth it. The 600, this is actually $595 if I'm not mistaken, 595 uh, the 38 one is 635, so just a tad difference there, uh, but it's super nice. And, and this one is just worth it. Let me just put it on wrist again for you guys to see. There you go. Look at that 36 millimeter diameter here on my 6.7 inch wrist. It's really nice. And I'm digging the color. So let's take it back to the studio. Well, that's been it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the 36 millimeter? Which one do you prefer, the 38 or the 36? I really dig the Sombers dial. I wasn't expecting this. Unfortunately, the uh, images that they have on the website does not, you know, it doesn't compare in real life. In real life, it's super different. The watch looks incredibly cool on my wrist. And I really dig the somber style. I thought that the sombers didn't go well with this watch because of the uh, images that I saw in the webpage, uh, but not right now. I do really like this one and I, I'm just really, I wanna see the blue color too, um, but I don't have the money to, you know, buy another one. So uh, Traska, if you're seeing this, please send me the blue one. I really like to, Take a look at that once, and uh, I'm super impressed with these dials. And the 36 looks super classy, and you can wear this every single day uh, with a tux or you know casually like I'm right now. It's just seriously, it's just a beautiful, beautiful watch. I really, really like dig this. And if you're into the Rolex OP, and in, and you can find one, or you are you don't want to pay the price of a Rolex, this just it's just, it's, it does it. It's super nice. And the fact that it doesn't uh, scratch at all, man, 100 meters of water resistance too. So this is an everyday watch and a beautiful watch to wear. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think about Traska, guys. And thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help to the channel. And if you don't like to do that, doesn't matter. Thank you for watching anyway. And remember, guys, I am Andy and I'll be here spending time watching time.